third experiment is where we got, got the most interesting results from. Um, I had taken my, what I wanted to do was to try and then add fields to the actual water that we use um, to see if there's any effects on the growth rate, pests, uh, any effect on our fish that it might have. So uh, I'd used the same GANS mixture where it was 70% seawater GANS, 15% uh, CO2 GANS and 15% CH3 GANS as a mixture and just placed that into a sealed bottle. I then placed that bottle into um, our first trough so that as you can see with a picture on the left, um, this bottle is floating in the water um, and it sort of ends up being about halfway down in, in the water level and that was just sitting there sealed. So we had not added any GANS mixture to the water itself. Um, and then the picture on the right, you'll see I've got my black pipes and then where the arrow is, is basically where my orange bottle was uh, placed into that uh, trough. Uh, just to give you some background as to why we sort of looked at this experiment is what is because we'd gone through a very, very hot summer um, and the nighttime temperatures stayed at around 20, so our water didn't really cool down. And our water system then stays stayed at about 26 to 29 degrees Celsius, even during the day and at night. Um, and this high water temperature, what it does to the root structure of the plants is that it, it makes them very fragile. Uh, the roots turn brown. Uh, if you touch them, they'll just disintegrate and die off. And what this does is it causes the lettuce to um, grow very slowly. It has no weight to the, the leaf structure as well. It's very thin. Uh, some of the lettuce is very stunted and some of them will go to early bolting. So the summer has been was quite horrific for us. And, um, and then it would take six to seven weeks one, once we had planted lettuce into the system for us to even be able to harvest something that, that we could use. Um, so this experiment um, turned out to be quite a big surprise for us. We weren't expecting the results. Um, let me just show you here on the roots. I've taken some lettuce from our different systems and um, you can see from system one and two, you can see the type of root structure there. It's very brown, uh, doesn't look very healthy. And if you say, if you touch it, they just break off. Um, and then even on system three as well. As well. So this one, I just wanted to show you that um, we were experiencing the same problem with all of our systems, except the one that we, we had put the uh, bottle of plasma in. And you can see there, that's the third one there. It's pretty obvious. The roots are white, um, vigorous. They were very strong. Um, so there was a major, major difference in effects on our root structure, still sitting with the same water temperature of around 29 um, degrees Celsius. So that, that to us was a dramatic effect um, and it also affected our the growth of the lettuce in such a short period of time. Uh, the other observation that we had, we had come across was um, on the one day we, um, mid, it was sort of also over 30 degrees again, a very hot day. And when you can see the picture on the left, that's typically what happens to our lettuce. Um, it wilts, it looks terrible, and by evening time it recovers and, and it's okay again. But what happens is when the lettuce wilts like this, it, it just doesn't grow. So we just have no growth during that period. Now, the lettuce on the right, we'd noticed um, all the lettuce that we'd planted into that uh, trough, the, the system with the plasma bottle, they were all standing upright and strong. They were not affected uh, by the sun at all. So that was quite a nice observation that we had noticed um, from the lettuce. So, you know, in this condition, they're still able to grow. They were, they were much stronger. Um, we'd taken some out. We started harvesting. And um, this picture, you'll see the lettuce. These were two of the same type of lettuce. Um, the one on the left it came out of the plasma system and the one on the right came out of um, one of our normal other systems. So you can see the effects that this uh, plasma has had um, on, on the lettuce. 
Um, these two particular letters out of the systems were um, seeded three days apart, so there's not much difference in the age, not to, to such an effect. Um, and they both sort of represented the average size that we were harvesting. And uh, we then harvested uh, our letters 31 days from putting into the system. We had taken these lettuces and weighed them, um, just to get an idea. The, the one on the left was out of the plasma system, and that weighed 149 grams, and the one on the right uh, weighed 55 grams. So that just shows you a dramatic difference there in the lettuce. You know, and the one on the right with this 55 grams is what we had been dealing with all summer. Um, so for us to get the very heavy lettuce on the left was, was a very, very nice surprise. Um, we had done some water testing just to see the effects, whether there would be any on from what the plasma might do. Um, the one on the left was on the 20th of February and then on the 14th of March. I, I test the pH and, uh, well, first of all, our water temperature on, was 29 degrees and on 14th of March was still 29 degrees. So it had remained at a very high temperature throughout the, the four or five weeks grain period. Our pH uh, doesn't change very much, it was 6.6 .6, um, and then 6.4. Our ammonia levels was uh, only 0.5 and these are all on parts per million. Um, and at the end of the grain period, it was 0.25. Our nitrites was 0.25 parts per million, and then we don't measure any nitrites at the end of it. And then our nitrates was 20 parts per million, and then only five at the end of the period. So this is a very, the other thing to bear in mind is that um, I chose this system to do as a test example, because out of all of them, um, our fish in this system was when we got them, they've always been a very poor uh, batch of fish. They were very lethargic. They didn't very didn't eat much. Um, we're not active, so we were battling to get up the nutrient levels on the system all along. So I thought, well, I'll put the plasma in here and see what effects we'd have. Um, so you can see on the basic nutrient levels, there hasn't been any change over that period. The observations we had was that. As you see in the pictures before, the root structure was totally different. Um, we only generally get that type of root structure when the water is a lot cooler during the winter months. So during the autumn and, and spring periods, we'll get that very nice, white, healthy uh, root, root structure. But during summer with the high water temperatures, we just don't get that. And, and to get that root structure at 29 degrees water temperature was, was amazing for us. Um, this is showing us that the plasma fields, and they were just in the water, were allowing the plants to cope better with the higher water temperatures and the higher air temperatures as well. Um, the lettuce were producing, they were larger leaves, um, they were thicker, they were heavier. Uh, it was a very thicker texture. Um, you know, normally the leaves are very thin, almost paper thin. These were thick. Um, you could feel that they were very healthy uh, lettuce and leaves. Um, we were then able to harvest in four weeks instead of the usual six to seven weeks during the hot summer periods. And as I say, during the day, uh, when the lettuce generally wilts, um, these lettuce were very happy and, and standing upright. Um, as I said, they're exhibiting traits that we normally only see during our peak grain periods of, of spring and autumn when, when the water temperature and outside air temperature is, is cooler. Now, the interesting thing was on our fish, um, as I said, these fish were very, very slow and quiet fish in the tank. And um, we'd noticed a few days after we'd added the, uh, that bottle of Gantz in the water that the fish started being a bit more active because normally when I I feed the fish, you just throw in some pellets on the top and you wouldn't hear them. Um, I'd come back the next day just to have a look and, and the pellets had been eaten, but you just don't see them or hear them. Now, all of a sudden, when I'm throwing food into the, on, onto the water for them, um, they're coming to the surface and they're very active and they're eating. Um, so we've seen quite a change in the fish there. There's been no uh, fish deaths at all um, recorded. so. Um, that's been good as well. Um, 
And it's effectively what we've only done is we've only used 50 mils of this GANS mixture and we have that one system has 24,000 liters of water. So for us, you know, we wanted to start with a very small amount to see what effects it would have. Um, but I say we've been blown away with the effects because for such a small amount of GANS in a huge amount of volume of water, we've seen these huge effects. And it's only just the effects of the field in the water, not necessarily not adding any of the GANS itself. Um, this was just based on those results. We just did a quick experiment where I then take another one of those little bottles filled with GANS and I put it into a barrel of water, 210 liters of water, uh, get the same effect. And um, just on this quick test, you know, we grow micro radish and um, we had watered the sea trays with this plasma water from the barrel. We follow the same procedures in growing that we normally do. Um, but at the same thing, we'd, we'd emptied out these punnets and you can see that same effect, we've had very good root structure. The two uh, white roots in the middle there were the ones treated with the plasma and the one root up either side is the normal radish roots that we get. Because these only grow from seeding to harvesting in seven days, it was a very quick turnaround. But for us, uh, that root structure there was again more proof you know, of, of the effects of this. Um, the radish we found was also healthier and uh, we were able to harvest the day earlier. Um, so that was just a nice quick test that we had um, done just to confirm what we'd experienced on our bigger system. 